Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights What is up guys? Today's November 30th and it is about to be 10 p.m. It's like 9.45 And Sandy is crazy we we're in the hospital and sandy was three centimeters dilated so what does that mean so it just means that my labor has begun so it just basically means that i'm in the early stages of labor after the doctor told me i had i was dilated all of a sudden i'm getting contractions <laughs> And I've been tracking them throughout the day, but they're not very consistent. It's just like kind of random. We're just kind of waiting for it to happen. Look at that, guys. It just feels humongous. I feel like it's ready to pop. She is. Literally from like one day to the next, it just like... In a few hours. True. It's almost as big as that ball over there. <laughs> But anyway, guys. I'm ready to have her whenever she's ready. We're just gonna wait. Also, we got boom, her bed. She's already here. She's already here. Look, <laughs> got her little thing in here. Bam, bam. Sandy's gonna be inducing herself with that ball. So if anything does happen tonight, you already know your boy. He's gonna get. Carlos her. wants her to be here, or er, not want her to be here, but. He wants me to like break my water or something by 1 a.m. so that we can head to the hospital that in the so middle cool of the night. If I could capture her water breaking on camera. But if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that button and subscribe. Carlos just got back home right now. Oh, you got his Chick fil A? From getting Chick fil A. I didn't get that. You got that? Stop! You're acting dumb. <laughs> We woke up not that long ago and we decided we're having Chick-fil-A for breakfast because it might be my last Chick-fil-A meal before the baby comes. As you guys saw last night, we thought we were going to have the baby. Last night. <laughs> nothing happened, so we're actually going to call because we're trying to see if Sandy has opened up more. Yeah. So maybe they'll check her. I'm still see. getting contractions, like, not consistently, but I'm still getting them randomly. So I don't know if I should go in or not, and we're gonna call later, but first, first baby. I wanna eat. First baby, so I can never be too careful. Sandy is currently hey, calling the doctor. Guys, depending on what they tell us right now, we might be going to the hospital, so I don't know. Of course they are. Well, I guess I'm going to be right back home. <laughs> My name is Sandra. This is actually my first time being pregnant. I'm 37 weeks and five days. Um, so I'm just having contractions. I'm not sure if I should go in. Yesterday I also went in for an appointment and I was three centimeters. What's going through your mind right now? That I want to shower. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. I'm going to get a haircut. <laughs> yes, she's been moving. Um, so basically we just have to wait until... Yeah. You start contracting more frequently, right? Or my water breaks. Or your water breaks. Ah! Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. I'm finally gonna go in the hospital. Dang. So right now we went on a walk and Sandy got contractions. A lot. 13 of them. So we're gonna go to the hospital, they're gonna check her out, and so we will go happened? from there. We could have a baby, like, within the next hours. The next 24 hours. <laughs> Wait, show them what popped up on the screen. Oh my Dramatic God. music. That literally never has played on my phone. And it played on my phone right now that we're on the way to the hospital. hospital. So, basically, I've been having contractions since yesterday. I called earlier this morning letting them know that I'm having contractions and the lady basically told me that if I'm not dying in pain then I can't go in and <laughs> I have a pretty high pain tolerance so um, it obviously doesn't hurt that bad which is why I'm still like 
able to talk normal and act normal, but these contractions are coming like really close. Long story short, I called again right now and I was like, can I just come in so you guys can check me because I've been having contractions like all day long. So I was like, I, I've been having contractions all day and I just want to get checked. So we're on our way to the hospital to get checked. I was three centimeters yesterday morning. So at this point, I don't even know where I'm at, but that is why we're on our way to the hospital. And this will determine whether we stay or not. But we'll see, we just have, what, we don't know. Do think? I don't know, I don't know. Cause like I said, I'm not like in pain, but at the same time, what if I'm just like not getting painful contractions yet? I don't know. Before you go more with this video, comment right now what do you think? Are we gonna stay or are we gonna have to go back home? Another thing that sucks is that Carlos can't come in with me yet until I'm actually like ready to go. Um, what's it called? Admitted to the hospital. I have to first get checked and everything, so we'll see what happens. Why am I why am I pushing the what if for the gate to open if we're because so Because you're nervous! <laughs> Alright everybody, I actually came to the top of the parking structure because I couldn't go inside and I can't get signal anywhere so, and I had to wait in the car. So I just came to the top of the structure and now all we gotta do is wait. I hope I don't get kicked out because it's gonna be annoying. I don't wanna wait. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna wait if I get kicked out, but... It's exciting. Sandy's gonna get go get checked. Once we find out if I can go in and she's admitted, then I'll go in there and then it's game on. But for now, you got this far in this video. I know it's a long one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is crazy. Tell me why my mom and my sister came through to the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma's on the phone right there. <laughs> Everybody's excited. We got another car pulling up for the cause. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. We're back home with a belly full of baby. What happened? Basically, um, I was in there for a long time. Two hours. They were like monitoring the baby and my contractions which the baby is like doing perfectly fine. For some reason when I was there, I wasn't contracting as much as I do when I'm home. Then the one of the midwives checked me and she said, oh, you're still three centimeters dilated. And obviously they don't keep you when you're only three centimeters. So she said, come back when you are in like way more pain. And yeah, that's pretty much what happened. So no baby today, but my due date is not till two weeks from now. So it can literally be in a few days or even in a couple weeks. I don't think it's gonna get to that. I honestly think she's gonna have a baby this weekend, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, we don't know. But we're gonna cut this vlog right here. Stay tuned because you never know which one of these videos is gonna be the birth. This is getting crazy. This is getting intense. We had an emergency to go to the hospital and this is what happened. But everything is fine. Baby's looking good. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one.